Hey guys, I'm Coco Ferocia. And I am Isis Mirage. And this is RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7, Episode 11 Review. Before we get started, we do want to mention that our birthday is coming up, bitch. May 16th. It'll be up before then? Or oh, no? Yeah, I think well, so. Well, regardless. That's our birthday, we're born on the same day for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, so two years apart. Bitch show us day. some love. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever, links down below. Get out of bitch. Also, for all the people out there who have felt like in recent times, like mentioning that we might need new hair. You're right, we do need new hair. And our birthday is coming up, so get on Tumblr and hit up my donate button, bitch, and start your sour mouths, bitch. You want, yeah, you down. know, shit. I'm willing to get some new hair. So Absolutely. give the bitch. Yeah, for real. You want to see it? I know how to do it. I'll wear it. Say yep, my way. Down. So. <laughs> so all of our social media links will be down below so you can get at us and show us some love and all that good stuff. Yes. Right? Send a bitch some birthday kisses and things. <laughs> With that being said, I think we're gonna go right on into the review. Yes, ma'am. The mini challenge this week was the puppets. It seems like they brought the puppets back again. It's always a funny moment and it's always a like kiki for the girls to like pick at each other or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of um, like uh, can't really in the it. same vein as the reading challenge. Yeah, pretty much. Really? Essentially. But with, with puppets. The girls are funny. I don't know why Ginger won for doing a Michelle Visage puppet, but... <laughs> You know. <laughs> Down though. It was Down. a Michelle Visage. Yeah. It was. Like, and I don't even... Okay. I don't even know. But it doesn't matter at it. She won, so good for Ginger. She got to like, you know, get a little extra time, whatever, looking for stuff. When they had to create the Hello Kitty extravaganza runway look out of Hello Kitty items. And then they later found out that they had to do second look with the costume head for like Hello Kitty's best friend. Like a mascot. Can so, I just like, fill you guys in just for a minute that no teleprompter, no little man with little cards <laughs> standing over here at the back. All this, she did this, then she had to go <laughs> there. So I retain that. information. <laughs> Like, like, like you think there was a screen at this point. Yeah, she's, she's very professional. She don't need no screen. Um, but yes. That's not professional, yeah. That, <laughs> that's the word. That would be it. The, yeah. Yeah, we gonna just get into it, as usual. See? Professionalism. Thank you. Example. Thank you. Point proven. Santino came back for this episode. Um, had a little moment trying to get in with a couple of people <laughs> in the workroom. <laughs> like, I don't know. A couple people trying to get it in right back. Yeah, honestly. I don't know. I don't know why Rue, like, at that point with, with Violet wasn't just like, look, I'm just going to leave. Y'all two can, like, have a little moment here. Yeah, I'm just hit like, because bring some The same with Paul's Drag Race. And what is this, like, like, millionaire matchmaker? Like, yeah, spaghetti. Like, fucking okay. Lady and the Tramp Hold shit. Up. They're going to be there with a fucking... Who the millionaire in this situation? Because oh, I know Santino didn't win the show right that she Well, and maybe like, you know. May maybe matchmaker. Like, matchmaker. Match <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> yeah, so we're going to move on to the runway. Right on in there. You see this week? We're just knocking this one out, bitch. <laughs> uh, first up, I want to say Ruth's hair was over. Matthew Anderson, bitch, I must shout the bitch out because yeah. it would be rude to just that's be like, oh, rule yeah. your hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to Matthew Anderson because that's art right there. First up on the runway was Hello Kitty. I felt that this week her look was stronger than any of her others. <laughs> I am super excited to see what she's going to bring this season, but so far I am in love. She has a very unique aesthetic, uh, unique <laughs> to does. her. She does. And I feel That's like it's said. nothing but fashions, and that she's my winner. And I may be a little early still, but I'm calling it oh. Hello Kitty Season 7 <laughs> okay. winner. Yeah. Unless. Absolutely. Okay, so next up, after Hello Kitty, I guess, was um, Violet Tchotchke's, like, yeah. little... 
best friend thing. Yeah, it was like Hello Lavender Kitty BFF. Lavender Trinket was the name, I believe, she went with. You didn't catch that? No, I thought she said her name was Violet... Violet Kitty. I just, didn't she say her name was Lavender oh, Trinket? Oh, I don't know, bitch. I don't know. Whoop. Maybe it did. Uh, she was, I didn't pull that on my ass, right? Yeah, no, that, I mean, it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was totally here for it. I felt yeah. like it was just, you know, fun and cute. Very, that, very Hello Kitty. I yeah. felt like Violet actually took into account, like, really for real, trying to stick with, like, the Hello Kitty yeah. brand. And well, that's, that what, yeah, that's what I was going to uh, say. Like, it's so, like, actually something that I feel like you genuinely see. It wasn't, like you know, rude or filthy or whatever. She kept it really true to the brand, like, and I felt like that was good. I felt like it was smart. She did her. a good job, yeah, and I, as a person who likes dolls and stuff like that, was into, like, her little personality yeah. description, how she loves looking in the mirror and everything. She had those big, long eyelashes. <laughs> Yeah. I felt like Violet did a really good job with this. Yeah, and she keeping absolutely it, did. You know, like balance. Yeah, yeah. So next up was Ginger Minge as uh, the country cow. And I thought, <laughs> once again, super smart. Um, kept it kind of PG, kept them cheesy move jokes in a it was appropriate. I felt like it was just a really smart, well thought out character. 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 Please. You know? Um, yeah, I thought so too. I felt uh, like it was a little bit more on a Disney tip than a Hello Kitty tip. Uh huh. What, yeah, as um, far as like actually looking like I suppose something it, like from also that. Also, because it was an actual like mascot and costume and everything, it, it kind of. That's very Disneyland, right? Yeah. It's actually cow. You know, shout out to Clarabelle. Um, absolutely. Shout out. Absolutely, shout out to Clarabelle. Iconic. Cow. Um, or the cow. <laughs> the only. We don't want to pull like the the Carter Davis misses. Cause you can't leave out the misses. You know, it's like yeah. important. So. Um, but yes, I felt like Ginger did a really good job, and you know, did found her little niche, her little yeah. judge within this cow, uh -huh. and um, yeah, it was yeah. it was fun, fun for the kids, fun yeah. for the kids. <laughs> So next up was Pearl. She was definitely um, crossing that line a little bit I more than say, the rest of the girls. What I will say is she's been a bad girl. <laughs> so damn bad. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> we won't because we can't. I can't. I could. Not I tonight. would. Um, you know, I feel like going into it with a character that's maybe a little more risque is I don't know if that's the right idea, I don't think it's a bad idea but yeah. I don't know if it's the idea you want to go with if you want to win because Hello Kitty did play a part in actually still Shoot. on <laughs> in choosing the winner, right? She did, it was so it themed so you'd keep that in mind. I would think that they in your good graces and something for the and brand. They, and they couldn't, even if they really yeah. like, they couldn't pick someone who was yeah. out here in her panties. Yeah. But I wasn't mad at it at all. Um, you know, I felt like the whole um, she could have gone with more of a Madonna moment and focusing so much on Banji, in my opinion. Yeah. But you know, neither here nor there. Um, I love a, a high waisted, you know, set. Absolutely, I love a gap tooth. So yeah, and shout I mean, out to the nails on all I had. I I <laughs> I think they all had them. It I'm seems like sure. it. Yeah. By the way, before I forget, um, Pearl's whole moment in the workroom. I wanted to mention because she spoke about how. She's been drawing Pearl for longer than she's even actually been Pearl. So yeah. I felt like that was really interesting. Definitely a really, really like unique kind of take on someone's inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Track. She became Pearl, the character that she had like, I, created. I, I, yeah, I think that's go. a really loving that concept. A loving that is, concept, absolutely. Is, is there any other way to put it? Yeah, no. So next up was Katya. Um, oh my god, I mean this bitch really... 
She finally pulled out the Russian moment, and yeah. it was the time, and it was the place, and it was the yellow teeth and the cigarette that sold it for me. Yeah, this is what I meant when I was talking about, like, going too risque. You want to keep it more within Katya's kind of, like, safe, family-oriented... Family. With like, a cigarette, absolutely family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the kids. Something for the kids. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. And Katya just embodied that head to toe. Uh -huh, on uh -huh. ass. But Mouth. I will say that even though it was during this game, I feel like Hello Kitty was like, even Hello Kitty had to be like, no, that bitch was good. She, like, it was so good, Hello Kitty even had to be like, you know what? Them yellow teeth. I don't care. Yeah, it was just, it was super, super smart. It was hilarious. It was, you know, her explaining why she would be the best friend of Hello Kitty and all that good stuff. She's just a genius. Like, it was yeah. just Yeah, and I feel great. like, you know, Katya was struggling within this challenge. Yeah. so, probably feeling like she wasn't gonna win must have, in a way, I think, been somewhat freeing in the sense that, you know, it's kind of like, Okay, I found it so hard. I'm probably not gonna win anyway, so let me really just do what I wanna do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think it worked out well for her. Yeah, it definitely worked out well for her, like, regardless of whether or not that was her decision. Yeah, um, because, like we said, it probably wasn't gonna be picked by Hello Kitty. Yeah. But, but it we was are gonna and, appreciate and, Exactly, and, 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 they, and they did. Yes. And they did, absolutely. So, next up was Kennedy Davenport. I feel like her little voiceover was just crash. It was crash. <laughs> it was a very Alexis Mateo throwback. Hi, everybody, moment. <laughs> what I enjoyed. Yes. That was, in my opinion, apart from the blue lip, obviously, team blue lip, um, the best part because I don't really understand the whole character. It's a couple of times I feel like Kennedy's just gone like the really safe. Kind of route, like I wanted to see her go, like, like do something, something more. Specific. Yeah, I just wanted to see her take it to that extra level. Like we final yeah. five now, everyone else kind of stood out in their own way more so than Kennedy. We good for good or bad reasons. I just felt like Kennedy's fell into the background a bit. Yeah, no, I I do too. Yeah. So first up, Violet Chachki. Yes, she just. Annihilated this shit. Oh my god, it's so ridiculous that she made this shit up from like the three and a half Hello Kitty ass plushies and things that was in the back. Ridiculous. There. Like, she has a way of like creating. She does. Something out of nothing, and she has like such great like. She has such a great eye for like shape and like silhouettes and like what would work together and. I don't know what it is with her, but like that bitch has got like a lot of fucking talent. A lot in her of talent. Young ass, like in body. her young ass, Violet. If you watching, bitch, ridiculous, insane yeah. talent level there. Her, I feel like, like you can't um, sleep on that. Like yeah. Her references are so on point. Like she wanted to give you like a sixties Barbarella pink cotton candy moment and that's exactly what the fuck she gave you like down to the details of the bottom lashes slightly spaced out and like it's 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 finishing touches and it's shit like that at some point like it well, yeah and, and really in my opinion next level for a chick so young like mm -hmm. you can't take that shit for granted or you you know what i'm saying absolutely as, as a fucking artist because it's like not often that you get that without ex Experience and experience comes with years and age mm -hmm. and so to get that so fresh and young like that is kind of crazy It is and she definitely and needs inspiring. All, yeah, she needs all the credit uh, the credit she can get for it honestly. Yeah, so go to fuck world, yeah. bitch. So next up was Ginger Minge I think you meant to say that next up this week was actually Pink Pussy <laughs> Please. So anyway, yeah, I liked the look on Ginger. I felt like it was a younger look for her, almost. Like, she can wear yeah. something cute and short okay. if she wants to, and yeah, show yeah, the shape okay, off. Yeah. And I just wish that there was a little more outside of the box kind of element. I feel like Ginger had a completely original, crazy idea. Uh -huh. 
but I felt like she looked good. It was cute. And it was actually um, well done, head to toe. You know, it was yeah. like a look. Yeah. It might not have been the most um, out there look, but it was a, a good look. Okay. But out better than a good look. She looked good. <laughs> she, she, she did look good. Her I will say. And throwing her little. It was but like. She did look good. I just wanted her use that to use that Hello Kitty element in a more like. Okay. To me, where I'm coming right, from, yeah, Ginger's yeah, one of those girls who, like, give me kind of like a pageant, kind of, you know, the girl at the club who's going to be doing, like, the ballad and over and all that. And it was kind of that, but in Hello Kitty. How's that a ballad outfit, though? And it, like, kind of a little, like, party party outfit? But it had, like, the, the little glamour throw, the little stole, bitch. That's pussy. I mean, literally. Anyway, because this ginger moment. Ginger, you look the good. Next. Yeah. yeah. Next up was Pearl. I um, liked her interpretation of the Hello Kitty eleganza. Like, I like the idea of it being something like. You know, because you think Hello Kitty, it's it's in my mind, it's like pink and frilly and fluffy and, you know... Well, basically, prom the dress shit that she said, right? That she didn't want to just stick a whole bunch of fucking okay, trinkets and shit. Um, I appreciated the, uh, you know, her little, like, runway presentation, running sort of moment. Because the walk. damn thing was not, like, but it's smart. Like, it's like, how am I going to fucking walk? I'm going to make it, like, Yeah, work, you like, got to make it work in that Smart moment. bitch. Like, yeah, it looked like... She got one of the towels at the beach and wrapped it around herself <laughs> like E.T. <laughs> Somehow, though, it still worked though. But it did work because it's one of those things where it's like kind of like a story, like as if that's what you did, but it's a whole out. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like kind of that idea, but quite, yes, it was very fashion, kind of weird. Simple, but still kind of special in, you know what I mean? Stood out as well. Yeah. 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 It, which I, I think that's the thing about very fashion-y things, right? Is that balance and, you know, just that, like, ability to, like, part without being covered in holographic glitter. <laughs> Did you see the pearl with all the, like, heads on, like, vivacious? Yeah. And Onesha. Uh huh. And LaShawn and the rest of the girls. A mess. A mess. <laughs> Who's responsible? I saw it from Phoebe, but I know she wasn't responsible, but she was telling people that they needed to stop. <laughs> but, you know. So next up was Katya. I really loved her outfit. Okay, I do feel like the hair needed to be pink. I don't feel like the hairstyle yeah. needed to change at all. I don't know more height. No, not, I just felt like it needed to be pink. Other than that, I felt like it was a great look. And one, if not one of my favorite looks for me personally. I love a cat suit. Even fucking Kennedy was talking about how she's a cat suit girl. Didn't know how to make one. Well, bitch, you should have hit up Katia because... Then the fuck it was. She looked good. I understand her concept that she wanted to do like 60s future because I'm sure we already like discussed that before. Like, you know, Jetsons, fashions and things. Yeah, I wasn't in love with the hair. Um, when you said that it needed to be pink, I was like, yeah, that's, that's what the fuck it was. Like that would have made total sense. It would have made it come together in my opinion. I feel like although she was worried, she did like step up to the plate in terms of trying to create something like, you know, glamorous and yeah. fashion with the rest of the girls. So I mm -hmm. definitely appreciate that. And yeah, you know, I think she did well this week. Uh, there wasn't really any like one that I hated so much this week. But you don't seem like you really like I didn't, that, yes. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I felt like there was something kind of missing or not I, quite there listen, for me. For all the struggle that she went through to end up with a cat suit that, you know, a cat suit can go really wrong. Yeah. Like, I know it sounds like pretty simple, but your cat suit need to fit you right. It does. And she made that shit. And she had all the little... Moments going on here, I felt like she stole it on the runway, confident. She definitely did try and sell it. I just wasn't... Well, that's okay. And you know? for me and my aesthetic, and being someone who's into... 
the cosmos and the future and the future bitch all day, I felt like she was very successful in her... I don't say she's not successful, I say she... You know. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, you don't know, that's the problem that you don't know. Cause y'all know that she looked the good. She did look good. Know, I ain't she looked to say the good. The character won. Next up was Kennedy Davenport. Giving a very, you know, catwoman-y moment, like they said, uh, the kit kind of gig. I like the hair, I like the overall look. But I feel like the same with Ginger that I wanted to see her like take it a little yeah. more outside of the box with the like youth of the Hello Kitty Island. I wasn't completely mad at the outfit. Yeah. Um, I do see where the judges were coming from in saying that Kennedy really does need to take it out of the box and um, have faith in herself that she can. Absolutely, so this whole like not creative thing. I'm like, sis, like, really. Like, yeah. my ass. Yeah, really, with some of the shit that we seen her do. Come on now. Yeah, like, the cute, the, the cute, the look <laughs> was cute. It was, you know, cute enough. But yeah. But it wasn't stand out. Yeah, I feel I didn't like... feel like it needed that block lip. Mm. I didn't feel like that was necessary. I felt like it was kind of trying to play on the idea rather than it really serving a purpose and going well with the look. Yeah. You know, at least with Candy, you're always going to get a great runway presentation. She's always going to sell it to you. She gave you the purse, which was an added feature, mm -hmm. I feel. Absolutely, I like that, that she gave a purse. only Candy would really, um, you know? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, okay, let's not say go off. Let's say... Oh. <laughs> right? Okay. No, but she did look yeah, really no, good though. Did, it's cutting like it. down it's, to the final. It's the final five. We want to see this fucking yeah. shit right now. Yeah. Before we go any further, the fly on Ginger. Oh my god, that bit, that a fly or like Godzilla? <laughs> Mothra. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, wasn't playing no games. A big know. old horse fly. Like, like nasty. <laughs> Oh my god, in the <laughs> most, landing on her face. How mortifying. She still look good. You okay, Ginger? Oh my god. Abused by a fucking insect. That's, that's comedy. The winner of this challenge is the horsefly, bitch. So, the winner of this week's challenge was Violet Chachki, rightly so. I felt she did the most, like, family-friendly, appropriate, yeah. Hello Kitty-friendly look. And her look was ridiculous. And, yeah, we won't oh, even wow. go in it, into it again. Like, that was fucking ridiculous. Um, and the bottom two were, unfortunately, Miss Katya and Miss Kennedy. It's really getting down to the wine with these bitches, like, in Final Five. It's yeah. like... So, uh, the bottom two was Kennedy Davenport and Katya. The song was Katy Perry Raw. Mm, I could Who? totally do without that. Yeah, me alone. And, um, Who? And um, the, the, the performance, yeah. however. Yeah. Absolutely. That was... The oh. girls, the girls came out this week they were like you know what we gonna both fight for this shit like you know and at one point i really was damn sure that rue was gonna be like y'all both get to stay because i feel like they really both did kill it like yeah i agree and i was waiting for that moment too <laughs> but damn kennedy like we were waiting and i'm mad it had to be katie perry raw i'm mad it had to be goddamn who you know but god damn it god damn it she fucking set that shit on fire. She did. Like, she did. And I was just saying, like, she jumped off the stage into the split, and I'm like, wait, pause. Because the only other person I remember doing that is Sahara, Jab and Paul. And I'm like, is it, was it like a conscious decision? Because, I mean, that would, it's dope regardless, obviously. Yes. But that, like, to do it, like, maybe in memory of her, like, and even just the, so, oh, wow. if it wasn't a conscious thought, just the idea that it oh, was kind of like, yeah, 
one of those things be. in life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, you know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, obviously, um, what is that song called? Carry on, Martha. Carry Walsh. on. Was the world of thing. Uh, Zara Dampot, Morgan McMichael's darling. Go find it if you want to. Cause yes, because when Candy jumped off that stage into the split, now that's nice. I know about drag <laughs> and understand some what they do. I know new bitch like I don't know nothing or nothing. Clutch my pearls a little bit. Yeah. So to like look back and see Zahara and done that back in the day. Bitch, when I didn't even have no no pearls to clutch, like when that happened. <laughs> yes. You know, so the legacy and the impact. And the fact that you thought of that, and yeah, noticed that like and, hello, yeah, go up, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, totally sad to see fucking Cassia go. Like oh, uh, that's really? that's babe, Like at this point, like she's great. Like I'm mad about it. No, I'm hella mad about yeah. it. Yeah, really? it's really like she Are we gonna have a justice for Katia bitch? I mean <laughs> seeing how y'all have y'all favorite Um yeah, I mean I feel like she brought something undeniable to this competition. Season seven wouldn't have been the same without no, her. No, 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 and no. I didn't see it for the bitch, not one hair. Like I didn't know who she was, I didn't I was like, I don't know what she's gonna bring. But the fact I that like she was Russian from a from a blank like slate she managed to turn it this much, like that's fucking over to me. Like, yeah. Katia such a special it. person, I feel. Mm. Such a smart, yeah, and somebody who you can really identify with, mm. I think, too. Yeah, and is honest and upfront and owns what it is they do yeah. while completely denying that fact all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely sad to see this bitch go, and yeah. we really gonna miss her like crazy. Um. Just so you know, Ola, she's gonna still be alive after this experience. She's gonna still be alive, but I won't live the same. And actually, I'm gonna stop watching the show and fuck the show and fuck all y'all. Like, basically, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, we're like, chill, like, stop. So, moving on to Untucked, um, you know, they were talking back and forth. Katya was talking about how she was really not feeling at all. Um, I felt like Ginger yeah, really, um, Kind of, you know... Reached out to a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually surprised that she didn't reach out to her. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, because I mean, last week she was like reiterating how good friends of, like, yeah. she was with her. And it's just... Still, you, know. you don't want your friend not to reach out to you. It's like, bitch, call me. Sorry. Oh my God. And we're so bad. You bad. I'm good. If... But you always got the, the... I'm bad, but she got 10 inches hanging over my <laughs> side like this, though. But define she want to read though. Your side. So define your side. So anyway, I actually have been meaning to bring this up to you guys for a while. I'm glad that well, I guess this is the moment to do it, which is why it never came out. Violet, she really is picking things up, right? Like we started at such a place with her and have We absolutely so far. did as a viewer. You know, and it's been like every week I've wanted to say, oh, by the way, you guys, Violet, 10 cents, 10 because she's been really opening the fuck up. Yeah. But, you know, they're addressing it here on Untuck right it's now. It's a different, yeah, it is a different person to the person that came in the competition. And I have been noticing now. as the time has gone by, I've mm -hmm. just been forgetting to let you guys know I've been Absolutely. noticing. Absolutely. You know, I, this is going to make you more likable at the end of the day, and you keep the con on the runway yeah and on the stage yeah you know yeah 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 so i yeah i think that's dope and it's dope too that the rest of the girls you know were with her on that and told her that because it's yeah. so easy to let someone know when something they're doing is wrong and it's not as easy to let them know what they're doing is right yeah so just all around, I think, good, positive moment in Untucked. Untucked is honestly so difficult sometimes to talk about because you get so caught up in watching it and, like, it's not like, oh, we can say, oh, well, Violet then said to Katya, na na na, uh, and Katya said to na 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 It's yeah, like, yeah, I did that's say why this it's in so difficult. the last review and I said it in a comment in response to someone who asked about Untucked last week, but I will reiterate that sometimes because Untucked's new format is a lot more um, relaxed and enjoyable, it is mm. sometimes just too relaxed 
to dissect and to yeah. pick apart and review. It's just a relaxed setting where they're like talking about stuff and kicking and conversations flowing and there's not really too much to pick apart there apart from certain moments like we just did with like saying that you know violets come along with all that yeah so i think you guys understand so for the most part you know that's what it is yeah. um i do want to mention this whole moment with in untucked with ginger and pearl outside talking <laughs> back and forth is really funny yeah. and i feel like it kind of showcased how much pearl has like really come out yeah I'm so, yeah no, totally. I, I, I think even it. being around other people is just so like the She's way she was joking with yeah. ginger i haven't seen that e even before now yeah so we just gonna leave it at that and hope that we yeah. covered everything that you guys wanted us to because i think we i mean it's we always only somebody oh y'all didn't mention this yeah. but like whatever all right we do our best god damn it um so we hope you enjoyed the video remember to hit the thumbs up button yeah. if you liked it remember to subscribe if you haven't already very important remember that you can find all of our social network links yeah in the panic section below and remember that it is our birthday this saturday may 16th so if you want to wish us a lovely day then sure do it yeah. go ahead so yeah mwah, 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 and we will catch y'all next week yes bye 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 bye